Awesome. Changing lanes 15. We love you. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. That is creepy. RV Lock reached out to us to see if we wanted to review their keypad system. And if you're new to our channel, I'm Tara. This is Chad. Hello. And we do videos like this, which are informative, tutorial, how-tos, and product reviews. And then we also do location videos. Mm -hmm. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Please, if you like this video, please click the like button. That does help us out quite a bit. Yep. I forgot to mention that we also go on some cool motorcycle rides, so that's fun. True. Now, to yeah, task so, at hand. So we're reviewing RV Lock today and, and they reached out to see if we would be interested in trying out their products. Turned out we had already been trying out their product for about a year. Before we even moved into this thing, that's how much we wanted to make sure we had an easy way to get into our RV and a way to lock it up. Stay tuned till the end because we will give you a discount code for 15% off. Yeah, 15% doesn't suck. That's right. What you got going on today? Today is a little project, hopefully, a little project. Hopefully it's <laughs> is the RV lock. Do, do, do. There's another Good Friday deal we got from RV lock. And it's supposed to go- Good Friday, Friday or Black Friday? Oh yeah, Black Friday. <laughs> they don't have any Good Friday sales. <laughs> Should be a simple install. Pop off the old one, pop in the new one. Single page of instructions. Pretty straightforward. But it is cold. You stay here, Daisy. So I'm gonna get my Look at you with your new haircut. You Daisy look got, cute. Daisy got a new haircut. Yeah. And I knew that they had some other products that we didn't have. Right. Baggage doors, things like that. And I wanted to see how well they all worked together as a system. Mm -hmm. So, da, 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 da. they sent us this box of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got this box and we were like, holy crap. So they sent us their version four keyless entry handle which is what we already had on our front door, but they sent us another one for our back door. They also sent us baggage lock handles, as well as the piece that goes with it, so they're matching on both sides. And they also sent us this. Not a very fancy box. <laughs> but, but it's really cool what's mm -hmm. inside there. It's this thing right here, this, which is a multi-function, multi-lock remote. So let's talk a little bit about the install part of this. The door locks are simple. I've actually already put them on, so this is, these are our old locks. But it's basically a two-part system with the outside handle piece and the inside door piece. They unscrew, they come apart. You put the RV lock one in, feed the wire through. Super simple. Didn't have any issues at all with installing this. Went right in, fit perfectly. However, the paint issue. Yeah, so. Grand Designs paint shop where they use to paint. Doesn't take the door handles off when they paint the rig. Yeah. They tape them. So when you take the door handles off on a full body paint momentum like ours, you end up with a little white square. Yeah. This thing is not square. No. <laughs> so they do make a thing they call a gasket that really is a sticker. And it'll go behind the RV lock and cover up the unpainted area, which is cool. I did reach out to our contacts at Grand Design and they were going to reach out to their painting people to see if the $12,000 paint job, if they could actually remove the door handles. <laughs> because, yeah. come on guys, we're paying a lot of money for this freaking paint job. Yeah, and I don't know if that's a standard thing within all RV manufacturers or not. So anyhow, that was our issue, that was our problem. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you how easy it is to install these things. Well, yeah. He's gonna show you. We've already got the RV lock on our front main entrance door. That one's been installed and working for well over a year now, and we've been very happy with it. So now we're going to finally put on the uh, same lock on our rear entry door. This will be a huge help on travel days because I'm always forgetting to put, to put the keys in my pocket. And if you watch any of our videos and where we've talked about our travel days, you know that I like to come back here and check on Lucille, make sure she's strapped down good. Uh, basically do a load check anytime we stop just to make sure nothing's coming undone, make sure the straps are still tight. Sometimes they, you know, loosen up after travel for a little bit. So this will make it easy. I can get in here without having to remember to put the key in my pocket. I can take that off the checklist. This is a real simple install. It says 10 minutes on the box because I'm filming it. It's gonna take an hour and 10 minutes. Has the 
key fob, which is cool, but we've never actually used it. We just punch in the code. But for those people who like key fobs, it's there. It's just the outside piece and the inside piece that go together. It's four screws, you take it apart, put it together. You can see, very basic mechanism. The original bower lock, you gotta put this through like that. not rocket science you just put the thing in as you can see there's a gap around the lock where there's no paint and that's stupid so I'm gonna put on the gasket first and then we'll put on the RV lock nothing too complex this thing just peels away it's one of those peel back kind of things and then you can line it up stick it on and put it on lightly and then see if it lines up oh bingo As you can see, it's not perfect coverage, but anyway, we have touch-up paint. If I wanted to, I could fill that in. I'm not that worried about it. Installation instructions, all on one little card. Run this thing through like this. Nope, like this. Getting that wire through. Plug these two halves together. Here it beep. Tuck the wires in. That looks pretty good. Uh, a little word of note, you do of course have to line this thing up with the other side so that when you turn it, the deadbolt works. So I'll leave those loose while I put this other panel on. Let's see how this thing works. So you can see the deadbolt out. Default code is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Unlock. And there it goes. But this one's installed and working. I just have to program our code into it. We've had them on for a couple of uh, trips now. And what I really like about it is the ability to get into the front or back door with a code. Like I mentioned, they also sent us baggage door locks, which is really cool because to be honest with you, we weren't really good about locking our baggage doors because it's a pain, right? You got to go down there with a key and lock it. One caveat on how easy it is though, every rig is assembled differently. While the doors are pretty much standard all around, we had a little bit of a challenge installing the baggage door locks. And I think you're gonna have probably hit and miss on that. But the issue we had was the strike plate slash latch catch, for lack of a better word, the thing that the little thing clicks into and holds into on the baggage door. The ones that came stock with the rig were, were fairly shallow. They were probably about a quarter of an inch deep, whereas these were designed to go a little bit deeper than that. In an ideal situation, you just swap those out, you're good. You can see the alignment with the old holes and the front half all lines up perfectly. Because what I'm running into is these are sitting too far this way on the new ones. So even though it closes fine, the tooth or the latch or whatever is hitting here and I have to really jam it closed to get it to drop down in here. So I need to have this slid out this way a little bit, a little bit towards the outside so that it, you know, hits properly. Since I can't drill new holes, I gotta use the current holes. My only other option is to extend the groove here and make it a little bit deeper so that I can slide it down or towards this way. So let me, let me show you what I, what I mean. So I need to use the holes that are way back in here, but I need the plate to be able to slide forward. So my only other option is to cut these things a little bit further up. An awesome tool to have in any arsenal of tools is a Dremel tool. You can do so much with those things. I got some metal cutting tools, I got three. I'm gonna figure out which one of these will cut that the best and the neatest and adjust those back a little bit and see if that works. I think it will. If it does, we'll go do the other side. So that's working pretty good. Just basically working this down a little bit to make that hole bigger and uh, we'll give this a shot. That worked quite well for this side. Now I'm gonna do this side and 
hopefully we'll be good. The one latch worked fine yeah. and the other latch was a little too shallow and it was just based on how the baggage door was mounted inside the frame. On one side it was just a tiny bit tighter so I had to cut a little bit out of our frame and that sounds like a bad thing but it's not, don't worry. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> it's not structural frame, it's wall framing and cutting a tiny little piece out of it's not going to really affect it especially when you're not around the edges and corners yeah. where the real strength is but I had to do a little bit of surgery on ours to get them to work. But they're in and they work great. Now I should be able to just let this go. Boom. You may notice it's the next day. It was getting a little dark, so it was difficult to film, but I installed the baggage door compartment onto the driver's side, which is where the wet bay is, and of course the other side access to the storage bay, to the basement we call it. They're all installed, they're all programmed with the same code, and they're all working and it's great. Now the fun part this guy. So this is a remote that they offer. It does essentially the same thing as this, which is the remote key fob. Uh, you'll get one with each door handle you buy, and each key fob has up to two lock on lock functions built into it. You can program these or this, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. This can be programmed to two locks or more than two locks, which I'll explain. They sent us this guy here, which actually does up to four separate locks or more if you group them. It's actually really cool. I'm, I'm excited about this piece of it. And let me go ahead and show you how to program this thing first of all. So programming one of these and programming this, which is a separate, this is a separate purchase. It doesn't come with this, but programming them is the same. I've already programmed this because I couldn't wait last night. I had to play with it, but I'll show it to you. I'm going to go ahead and program this key fob. It's really simple. All you need is a key fob programming tool, AKA paper clip. And all you have to do is make sure this switch is on. Every one of these handles has a, an option to turn off the ability to open it with a key fob. So that way, if for whatever reason, say you're gonna be storing your camper for a while, you can turn that off. Of course, I think it might also save the battery. Maybe it's not listening, I don't know. So you make sure the fob switch is on and then right above it is a little thingy. You just push it, you push lock. That's it. Now you'll notice when I push lock on here, boom, locks it. I push unlock, unlocks it. It's that simple. And I could also program this other one, the bottom switch here, to another door, the bay doors, the back door, whatever I want. The cool thing is you can also program multiple to one switch. So if I wanted to, I could program both this door and the back door to the same button. It's just the same process. I take this over there, I hit program, hit the lock button and that's it. Where that comes into play is this guy. So this guy has four on there and you'll notice that the top one is labeled all. It doesn't have to be all, it really just depends on how you program it. Each one of these baggage handles or door handles, the RV locks with the code, can be programmed for up to 10 fobs. So, you know, you get quite a bit of flexibility in what you want to do. So what I did is on this guy, I programmed every single latch, the, the front door, the back door, and both baggage doors to the all. I programmed zone one to the front, zone two to the back, and zone three to both baggage doors. So if I push lock all, I don't know if you could hear it, the door in the back, and the door here locked. I could also barely hear it, but both baggage doors locked also. Nighttime, if I don't know, oh, that I locked the baggage doors. It's gonna be nice to actually start locking our baggage doors, because honestly, we never did. So as you can see, that was pretty simple, except for the little hiccup that you ran into. Yeah, RV life. Yeah. Sometimes simple projects turn out to be not so simple. Yeah. but you work around them. So if you weren't filming and doing all that, how long do you think it would have taken you? I could swap it out, have it in, have it programmed and everything in like 15, 20 minutes. Cool. So roughly, roughly half an hour. I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the bottom line is we love it because it's super convenient and it adds an extra level of security. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned the discount code. We'll put that in the notes below. Mm -hmm. We'll also put it on the screen here, 15% yeah. off. Changing Lanes 15, I think is the code. Changing Lanes mm -hmm. 15. We hope you enjoyed this review of RV Lock. We certainly love it. Yeah, hopefully it was helpful for you. And we want to thank RV Lock for sending us this amazing box of goodies. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. 
Click subscribe. Please. Click on some of these other videos we've probably got please. on the screen right now. He needs to say please. Please. So please. <laughs> so please click on some of these other videos that are probably on the screen right now. Check out our website. We do blog posts. That's that, right. That aren't just videos. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram too. Mm -hmm. And Twitter. Yep. So if you want to reach out to us and say hi, please do. Shoot us a comment below if you have any questions. All right. Suck it in. And uh, we hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Let's do that again. And that's all I was gonna say. First of all, the first of all, just so you know, I I did reach out. Another cool thing about my foot's going up. My foot's <clears> going up. There's their own slam. What the f is that thing called? Slam. I already forget. Latch. And I was, I, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you hopefully it was. It. Sorry, I, I no, cut in front of you. That's okay. Hopefully it was helpful for you. And that's it. <laughs>